So 6 a.m. yesterday morning came around and it was the end of the Capcom countdown clock. And a little game called Street Fighter 6 was revealed. Well, hey, we rejoice. But are we sure? And on another note, for anybody out there who thought that Resident Evil or any other game was going to get shown at the end of this countdown, at the end of a fighting game tournament, you need to know yourself. So stick around and let's see what our real thoughts are on the trailer. Let's roll Street Fighter. Okay, so there we have it. Street Fighter 6. Oh my. Now, yeah, I was super hyped for this. Obviously, everybody knows I'm a massive Street Fighter fan. I uh, love my fighting games. I'm as much excited about this game coming out as the next FGC player. However, for me, we got scampered on Street Fighter 5 and we got sold a shitter. And I've already got some concerns regarding this. That is, we're going to talk about some things what I think are pretty cool. A, for, I think the trailer's pretty cool, the whole, the way they've done it. It is only very short, though. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more, just to put my worries at ease. One of the main things I will start with is this freaking logo, dude. Who the hell designed this? What Street Fighter has always had. A brash, bright logo. You immediately see a Street Fighter logo and you know that that is a Street Fighter game. This, I think I could have made in Microsoft Paint. To be perfectly honest. Uh, it doesn't scream anything to do with Street Fighter. I tell you what it does scream to me. Esports. It looks like a competitive esports team's logo. And hey, that's where Capcom make the money these days, isn't it? So it seems like they've sort of like tainted it for me towards that sort of market. Uh, not keen on the logo whatsoever. Then we're going to get to... Let's just watch this here. Okay, everyone loves Ryu. Why have they made him look like the Incredible Hulk? If you painted him green there, he'd look like he's huge. He's a martial artist. All right. And this dude, don't get me started on this dude. One thing they could have made this trailer 100% better. Akuma comes in now, demons this prick, and sends him back to Street Fighter V. The way they seem to be making this is that he's going to be like the next sort of bad guy. I don't know, I weren't sure he was a bad guy in Five. I haven't really played that much of his story. Am I really fussed if he's going to be one of the main characters in Street Fighter VI? Not at all. You know... Oh, he's got the, uh, let's skip back, you know, he's got the, the, the beard, the hot Ryu, as they love to call him. Would have been cool there if uh, a certain little logo might have got burnt into the back All of his right. chest. You ready? Oh, I can't even look at that. And this music. Oh, it's with the hip-hop track. Why not some, like, classic Street fight background music? They've got so many classic tunes they could have put in there what would instantly scream Street Fighter. I left this video a day because if I'd have reacted straight away at 6 a.m. yesterday morning when I woke myself up to watch it, I would have been going crazy. Oh, yeah, Street Fighter 6, man. Whoa, it's amazing. Look at the graphics. Look at the graphics, look at the sound, it's going to be amazing. And then when you actually watch it back and you give yourself time for it to sink in and you start pulling little bits out, it's really frustrating. The character models, where I'm going to touch on the character models, I feel as though, you know, I just feel in a way Capcom sort of lost the way since Street Fighter 4 
they made Street Fighter 4 made such a comeback, made put Street Fighter back on the map. And then it almost seems as if they've gone along this route of we've got to make it look ultra realistic, you know, to make it look like a, you know, to take it to the next level, you know. Screw that. Games like Mortal Kombat and Tekken do that. That is what they are renowned for. Their character models look realistic. Street Fighter 2 is a traditional, a pioneer of 2D fighting. Now look at how good Guilty Gear Strive looks. Look at the artwork and the, the animation what has gone into, get into the game. Now don't get me wrong, that is Arc System work style. But then look at the new King of Fighters, King of Fighters 15. It still sticks to its roots, but it just makes the characters look even better. They still got that 2 d sort of flair, almost a little bit, for me, like a little bit Street Fighter 4 did. With these, I, I, I've got a feeling these are what the character models are going to try and look like in the game. Ugh. Personally, I feel like Capcom has sort of lost the way with the Street Fighter franchise. 5 really nailed it in the coffin. It was doing so well with 4. We seem to have taken a step back. I really hope I'm really, 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 really hope I am wrong on this one because I love Street Fighter. Do not get me wrong. These are just my opinions, by the way. But let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new Street Fighter 6 game. The logo, the music, the character models. I want to hear everything. All the disagreements. Because, look, the fanboys out there, I know you're all going to be like, oh, no, you don't know anything about Street Fighter, this, that, other. It's my opinion, dude. Deal with it. <laughs> And let's hope we don't get scampered again by Capcom. But for all things Street Fighter 6, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to get notified when all these videos go live. And fingers crossed, we'll have a Street Fighter 6 that we can all be proud of. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.